Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to get a Nintendo 64 emulator on your iPhone and iPad without the need of a jailbreak and the best part, no revokes are involved. So for this tutorial I'll be showing you how to get Delta. Delta is a multi-emulator, it can play many other consoles, not just Nintendo 64. However this guide will go in depth on how to get Nintendo 64 up and running. If you want to check out how to play any other consoles, check out my emulator playlist in the description down below. So in order to get Delta, we need to make sure our device is supported. We do this by opening up settings, then tap on general, then tap on about and check your software version. In order to get Delta emulator on your device, you need to be running software version 12.2 or newer. If you're running software version 12.1.4 and older, you will need to update to the latest version of iOS. You can see on my iPad Mini 6, I'm running software version 15.0. So for this tutorial, I am supported. Next, you will also need access to either a Windows or Mac computer. If you do not have access to a computer, I will quickly mention a no computer method however there's a very high chance that this method will not work and if you want to get the nintendo 64 emulator on your device you have to use the windows or mac computer if you want everything to be working 100 percent without any issues so that being said if you have a computer i recommend you skip to the timestamp which will show you how to get delta with a computer uh, if you want to quickly check out the no computer method keep in mind it most likely will not work i'm going to show that right now in order to try the no computer method what i want you to do is head over to the first link in the description keep in mind this method will most likely not work you will need a computer if you really want to get delta emulator so you can see delta right here just tap on the blue get and then you'll be redirected to another page just close out that redirect and then you can see i'm brought to the delta page right here so you, all you want to do is just tap on get and then you can see choose a store to get delta and you can see right here notes using a no computer third party app store has a risk of failure e.g delta showing unable to install or unable to verify app if none of these methods are working a great advertisement thank you for that one i'm gonna have to blow out this video but if none of these stores are working you need to use the computer method which is covered later on in this video just check the timestamp so all we need to do just tap on the third party app store you want to try so let's say i'm going to try this one and it will redirect you to the page if you are redirected to an advertisement so you can see this is the official ignition page you can see right there but if you're redirected to a page which is an ad just close out the redirect and then just tap on the uh, get button and then the third party store again so if by some miracle you are able to get delta without the aid of a computer check out the next timestamp for the untrusted developer fix otherwise if you are not able to get delta no computer you will need to get your computer right now and let's move over to the computer method so the first step to get delta with a computer is you will need to set up alt store onto your device if you've already set up alt store there's a timestamp which will say get delta emulator uh, with the computer otherwise you will need to move to your windows or mac computer and i'm going to show you how to get alt store set up onto your device on the computer if you're running windows we have some preliminary steps we need to follow so first of all i want you to open up the microsoft store search up for itunes and make sure that if you have this version of itunes installed on your computer delete it so if you don't see a get button here and you see an open button just make sure this version is deleted next i want you to go to the alt store page will be in the description and i want you to click on the faq in a new tab once we are on the FAQ, we have two downloads. First of all, download the latest version of iTunes directly from Apple and the latest version of iCloud directly from Apple. So we'll right click, open a new tab for iTunes and you can see download the latest version. But it says from the Microsoft Store, so we need to fix this. So we're just going to scroll down until we see looking for other versions, Windows and then download iTunes for Windows now, 64 bit. We click on this one and then we wait for this to download. Next, we're going to go and we're going to download the latest version of iCloud. So right click, open a new tab, and it'll bring you to the Apple support page where we have the iCloud download for Windows. Once you're on this page, we need to right click this here, download iCloud for Windows on Apple's website. It does say for Windows 7 and 8, however, I'm on Windows 10, this works no issues. If you're running any other future Windows, it will also be good. So just right click this, click on copy link address, and then paste this in the new tab. For some reason, the iCloud download will not start if you either just click on it you see if i click on it it doesn't do anything or if i right click open a new tab it still won't do anything either i have absolutely no idea why this is the case however it is what it is so we just need to wait for the itunes download to finish the icloud download to finish and then i'll show you the next steps once itunes and icloud have installed you just need to set them up so we'll just load up itunes because i've already installed itunes it's given me the option to repair or remove but for you you would install it for the first time so just click on next Press yes on any pop-ups you see, 
and then install iTunes on your computer. And then next, we need to download iCloud. We need to accept the terms of agreement, install, press yes on any pop-up you may see, and then just wait for this process to complete. Press yes on any other pop-ups you see as well. Now iCloud wants us to restart our computer. I recommend you install both iTunes and iCloud before you do the restart. So I'm just gonna click on no, then we restart the computer. If you do not restart the computer, Altstar will give you an invalid Aniset data error. So it's not an optional thing. Do you wanna restart? It is you restart to get Altstar working. You don't restart to get Altstar not working. So I'm gonna restart and then I'm gonna be back for the next steps. All right, I've just restarted my computer. If you get this iCloud pop-up, just click on cancel. Make sure iCloud is still open in the tray. And let's proceed with the next steps. So back on the Altstar website, you either click on Mac OS or Windows. So on Windows, I'm just gonna click this. You're gonna see the allinstaller.zip is going to download. On Mac OS, you just click on the Mac OS download. And if you have this pop-up, just click on save file. Okay, and then you can see allserver.zip is downloading. I'm going to click on it right here. On Windows, you'll see this page. Click on Extract All, and then just click on Extract. And once it's done, now we have Auto Installer and Setup. On macOS, once the .zip has installed, just click on it. And then you should see the Auto Server icon right here. Just drag this into Applications. Click on Applications. Then you want to find Auto Server, should be at the top. Right click, Open. Then for the first time, you're going to see Auto Server is an app downloaded from the internet. Click on open and then you should see what server has just been loaded up right here. For Windows, we want to double click the setup and then we'll click on next, just me, next, yes to any pop-ups you see and then close to exit. Now we need to load up the alt server application and then we can proceed with the next step. So I'm just going to open this up and if you see this pop-up, click on allow access and now you should see alt server in your system tray. If you don't, click on the view more option and it should be right here. Before we install Alt Store onto our device, we need to do a bit of setup. So I want you to uh, open up iTunes on Windows or Finder on Mac OS. And then you want to connect your iPhone to the computer or your iPad or your iPod Touch. And you should see it right here. We're going to click on this. And what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down. And you see this option, sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. You don't have to turn this on, but what this means is Alt Store will communicate with your phone over Wi-Fi, so you do not need to plug it into the computer. This will be very useful later in the tutorial. Again, you don't have to turn it on, but I recommend you do. So we will turn this option on, and then we'll click on Apply, and then Done. On macOS, extra steps are required in order for Alt Store to work. I want you to click on Alt Server, then I want you to find Install Mail Plugin, Click on this, install mail plugin, maybe ask to enter in the passcode, just enter that one in. And then mail plugin installed, okay. Make sure that you reload the mail application, so if you see a blue dot like I do, right click, quit mail, then load up mail again. And once mail is opened up, you should see right here, mail, click on mail, preferences, and then we see right here, manage plugins, we click on this one. And we see Alt Plugin or Mail Bundle. Click on this, apply and restart mail, and now the mail application will restart. The mail application must stay open while you use Alt Server. So if you're in a situation where that does sound inconvenient, just minimize the mail application, and as long as you just keep it that way, things will be perfectly fine when using Alt Server. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to find Alt Store, click on it, install Alt Store. And then you should see your iPhone right here. So I'm going to click on my iPhone. And now we need to enter in our Apple ID and password. Now, this is used in order to connect with Apple server and generate a free certificate, which you can sideload onto your phone. However, if you do not trust Alt Store, you know, you may think that it's taking your login details. The app is open source, so it's completely safe. Uh, if you are in a situation where you still don't trust Alt Store, you can create a brand new Apple ID. The link to do that is in the description. Just follow the step. Another thing as well is not all Apple IDs will support Alt Store. Uh, I think if you are under the age of 18 on your Apple ID, this may not work. If you have family sharing on, this may not work. So if you are in a situation where you get any error, which isn't the invalid and the set data error, which I explained earlier, which you can fix, then what I recommend you do is you create a brand new Apple ID as well with the link in the description. Yeah, it's Apple's official page, nice and easy. So I'm gonna do that personally. 
and then I'm going to come back and enter in my login details. If you have installed Altstore on another device before or you said you impact her, you'll see this pop up saying Altstore already installed on another device. Just click on continue and just wait for Altstore to install. So you can see it right here installing Altstore to iPhone. You may be also asked to enter in your two factor authentication code. If you are, just enter that one in. So we'll just wait for this to complete and you can see installation succeeded all store was successfully installed on iphone and now if you did turn on wi-fi sync you do not need to have your iphone plugged into the computer anymore so i'm just going to unplug it and i'm going to show you the next steps once all store has installed you can see when i try and open it i receive the untrusted developer message you will also receive this message if you did use the no computer method and all store did install successfully so in order to fix this you just want to open up settings then tap on general then find vpn and device management developer app, trust, trust again, and then you can open up Altstore without any issues. Now you can see Altstore would like to send you notifications, just tap on don't allow. Altstore would like to find and connect two devices on your local network. It's very important that you set this to okay. If you accidentally set don't allow, just go to settings and you just wanna find where Altstore is and then just make sure that local network is turned on. Once we've done this, we're gonna to go to settings and then sign in with Apple ID. Now, if you get a message saying could not connect to alt server, what you will need to do is with every other step in this video, I will mention it, but you, do, you will just need to plug in your device to the computer. <laughs> the charging cable is just very slightly off screen. You can see at the bottom left, just plug in your device to the computer and then that should fix the issue. Of course, make sure alt server is also running. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign in with my Apple ID and password now. The next step is just long press on the home screen, tap on plus, and then tap on alt store and then tap on add widget what this will show you is how many days until alt store expires it's very important that you know this because after seven days if you did not re-sign the alt store application alt store will break on your device the fix is quite simple you just need to reinstall it via the computer and that will fix the delta emulator as well but it's a bit inconvenient instead what you can do is open up alt store tap on my apps and then just tap on refresh all do this before the seven days expires and then you will never need to worry about your emulators not working such as delta so what you want to do next is just get the delta emulator i will leave the download in the description down below so what we need to do is just tap on get for delta if you're redirected to any other page this is an advertisement so just close out the redirect then you can see delta right here all you want to do is just tap on the IPA and make sure you're redirected to Riley Tessa's GitHub page. If you're redirected to an advertisement, again, it's an ad, just close out the redirect. All you want to do, find Delta and then just find the latest IPA. So I'm just going to tap on this one right here. And then you want to find, do you want to download Delta IPA? Just tap on download again and then the Delta IPA should install right here. Give it a little bit, it shouldn't take too long. Once the Delta IPA has installed uh, onto our device, we need to get everything ready. So just open up Alt Store, then tap on Plus, find the Delta IPA, tap on it, and now Delta should install onto your device. If you received the could not connect to Alt Server error or could not find Alt Server error, you will need to plug in your device to the computer when you do this stage right here, otherwise this will fail. However, for me, because I've done everything correctly, I have Wi-Fi Sync on, Alt Store should set up delta on my device without any issues and there you go delta has been successfully side loaded so what we need to do is just open it up and once it's opened up we need to get our nintendo 64 games so the official way to get your nintendo 64 games is find the original nintendo 64 cartridge that you have and you just want to dump that onto your computer and then just send it over to your device that's the way i did however there are some unofficial ways that you can follow uh, i have no clue what they are i definitely have no idea so i will not be able to show them off in this video uh, if you really don't know any other unofficial ways uh, maybe just leave a comment and someone who may know the unofficial way will be able to help you out so what you want to do once you have your games is just open up the files application right here once you're in the files app you just want to find the nintendo 64 game which you officially dumped and then just long press on it then just tap on share and you know uh, want to swipe over until you see delta just tap on this one and boom you can see super mario 64 is now inside of the delta application so all we need to do is just open up delta uh, the game even and boom just like that we should see super mario 64 is fully working so fun fact about two days ago on my switch i've got all the 70 stars which is pretty nice 
and uh, now I can uh, do the same on my uh, iPad as well. So everything is fully working, all the buttons are fully working, and um, yeah, that's about it. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for brand new. Check out my playlist on the end screens for a bunch of other emulators you can get on your iPhone and iPad without the need of a jailbreak and uh, no revokes as well. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.